counting on a calm weather night tonight, especially a bloodhound rescue. That charity in Powell was hit by a storm a couple of weeks ago, and this one wiped out part of its driveway. 10 News reporter Caitlin Keenahan spoke with the founders of that nonprofit about this double blow from storms. At the Bloodhound Rescue in Powell. This is new. Nothing surprises the owner, Patty Elliott, anymore. I didn't know I would wake up to a creek running through my front yard. This part used to be the driveway. 17 inches deep. The brook formed from the storms that rocked the Powell community Wednesday night. Never seen a lightning storm like this. There was no break in the lightning. It put her power out and left 20 dogs under her care shaking. They were terrified. Heavy rain washed out a chunk of her driveway. We've got half of our driveway over here in our yard. I mean, these are the size of the rocks. This animal rescue is still recovering from a different storm two weeks ago that destroyed a series of kennels. Donations and volunteers were in the process of rebuilding. Then came another storm. We wasn't even able to finish the repairs to what happened from the last storm until this has happened now. Now with their gateway to the property washed out, adoptions are on hold. We're to stand still right now. We can't take them. And that's killing me. I mean, that's really heartbreaking, thinking that these dogs will be alone in a shelter to die. But she can't rescue them until this rescue repairs its own driveway. In Powell, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. And if you would like to help that rescue group, we have a link right now at WBIR.com.